Hi planner friends, welcome back for another video. If you're new here, hi, my name is Cassie. I share planner content on my channel here. Um, I usually am sharing plan with me's and hauls, um, but I'm really trying to branch out into some different kind of videos for you all and putting up some different content. And so today's video is gonna be a little bit different than anything I've done. Um, this is the kit that I am using for my next plan with me that I will be posting. Um, and I thought about adding this into like the beginning of the plan with me, but um, that'll probably make the video really long and I tend to have long plan with me's anyway. So um, I thought, you know, maybe I'll do this as a fun separate video. Um, and it's mainly going to be kind of how I choose my deco that I'm using for the kit. Um, you know, how I'm pulling it from my, I have my stickers currently in drawers, so I will show you all of that. Um, but I don't know, I just thought it might be kind of fun to see how I get ready to do a spread, kind of the behind the scenes that you don't typically see because I added a lot of that out, um, because otherwise my videos would be forever long. So I'm just going to jump in. Um, I am going to share this kit with you first, um, and I will do a little flip through in my plan with me, but, um, this one, so I am memory planning the week of August 8th with this kit. Um, that's the week that my family and I went to the beach. Um, my mother, um, she loves the beach and we live like two and a half hours from the beach here in North Carolina. Um, but my mom lives up in New York and doesn't get to go to the beach often. And so she usually will visit us every year to go to the beach. Um, and then last year she kind of was like, why don't we just get a, a house for a week? Why do you know, like we usually just have like two days there and then we have to pack up coolers and we stay at a hotel and it's just a lot of work. So we decided we would do a beach house. So, um, my one brother, I have three brothers, but one of my brothers and then my sister, um, and their families and, um, us and our family and then my mom, we all, um, rented a beach house for a week. And so I knew I wanted to pick some, you know, a kit that would kind of reflect our week there and, um, when I saw this one, I thought this was perfect because this scene here, um, it says find your wave and that doesn't really mean anything to me, but this totally looks like when you're walking up to the beaches at North Carolina, um, just like with the sand dunes on the side. So, um, this was perfect. Um, and then like this little, like kind of towel area, this hat reminds me of my mom. She loves her straw hats. Um, and I just thought that was so pretty. And then this is totally something my mom probably owns this jumper, like for real, she probably has that. So, um, and then the pastel kits, like, it's just perfect. This kit reminds me of my mother so much and I love my mother. Um, I mean, that's not probably a surprise, right? But I just, um, I just adore my mother. So I wanted something that would kind of honor her in a way because she is the one who wanted to do this. And this kit just speaks of my mother to me. So, um, that's why I picked up this particular kit for this week. Um, and these colors are just so beautiful. So this is the second page. Um, you've got a lot of like little square boxes and some mini boxes and some scallops and then a ton of boxes. I love Sadie Sticker's format. Um, you've got a lot of like layering elements and things in here, all of the headers, some habit trackers and checklists. And then this bottom washi is so pretty. It's very like, again, um, I say again, because you probably heard this in so many of my like plan with me's, but I love a good, like simple, like simple line or very simple design washi with a floral. Um, so this is like my favorite combo of things. And it's so pretty with like the traced floral foiling. So I really love that. Um, your date covers, you get some little like really thin dividers. I hope that shops start doing more of these type of headers, these tiny ones. Um, instead of like all the thick ones. I'm not, I don't typically use a lot of the thick ones because it takes up more space, but I really love these little ones. I'm hoping people will bring in more of those. Um, this kit, by the way, is foiled in silver foil in case you couldn't tell. <laughs> um, and then I did pick up a ton of add-ons for this kit, a ton. So I got this um, with the torn paper and some deco in both premium and transparent matte. Um, my goal is to use some of this in my prayer journal and kind of like I was able to do some of that while I was there. And so I want to kind of have my weeks match with the week I use this and use this in the prayer journal to kind of have some cohesiveness there. And then I did pick up, um, I think two or three, how many deco sheets? Two on the premium or yeah, two on premium mat and two on transparent mat. So same sheet, just on different paper types. I just love these florals. I don't know. There's just something about these colors. They're just so beautiful really love that and this sheet is packed really well you've got a lot of little elements to make your own bouquets and some other big bouquets some like really full ones and then some smaller ones so perfect for all of the floral layering and then i did get this one here with all the little like kind of functional boxes 
And then I got the large deco sheet as well. Again, both in transparent and premium matte. Um, really love this. I'm excited to do like some different stuff in like my date covers and my bottom washi area. I'm not sure what exactly yet, but I love that I have so many options for this kit. So um, super excited to plan with this one. Okay, so now I'm going to take you over to my drawers here. This is my current organization system. Um, I have things that don't have homes yet hanging out here, so forgive the mess of what this is right now, but um, I wanted to kind of show you what, um, like how I'm pulling things, and this is how I'm doing it. So I have, um, I've got like my silver in here, and then I have like black, hollow, you know, like, I don't know, just all the miscellaneous stuff in this bottom set, and then forgive the mess. Um, and this one here, um, I've got my um, rose gold and then gold down here. So um, this is a silver kit. So we're going to look at my silver drawers. Um, so I have them all organized the same way. Um, so I have all of like my branchy things here and my florals in here. And if there's a freebie from somebody that has like a lot of, um, you know, one type of thing or another, then that's kind of where I figure out where I put it in there. Um, these, this idea of doing this came from... Um, JC from um, the Virgo plans. So um, just putting that out there. I watched one of her videos and I was like, have to have these drawers and I ordered them right away and I love them, but I'm getting to the point where like you see, I can't shut it very well now um, because I have so much and I'm very tempted to go buy some Ray and Tay binders, um, trying to be careful with how much money I'm spending on things. So right now I'm still making this work, but um, I am probably going to switch this up to a binder format at some point. Um, but this pile here is like all of like boxes, um, I call them boxes, but you know, circles, squares, any of that kind of thing. Um, and then this box here is like mandalas. Um, yeah, basically mandalas, anything that kind of fits within that. It's got some of my gathered layers collection in here. Um, so that would be my second drawer. And then in this one, I've got, um, like garlands and dangle deco. That's this pile. And then this is all dividers. So all my dividers are in there. And then in here, you see I'm already like, these things are falling to the back. This is all like deco. Um, I tend to have a ton of deco. Like there's just so much in here. I kind of have it grouped by like seasons a little bit, um, but this is so out of hand. Like this has got to get fixed at some point. It drives me crazy, but that's what it is. And then I have all my scripts in here. I don't really have a ton of scripts. Probably need to remedy that. Um, see, I can't shut the drawer. Um, and then in this one, I have all of my icons. I kind of have like, like uh, my, my newest addiction is in here. I think I have Paper Muse crafts in the side. These are all like kind of bigger sheets or like random ones um, that I have. And then this is all usually like Crafts by Towie is this pile here. Um, Cause I have more than any other shop. I think I have Crafts by Towie icons. So I have my own pile for those. Um, and then I think that's it. Yeah. Cause then we move into like other colors. So, um, that's kind of the organization. So what I'm going to do next is, um, pull out these piles. I'm going to bring them over underneath the camera so I can show you and then like show you kind of how I'm deciding what is going to be pulled for like my mini stacks. Um, because it's too much to like keep digging through all of these throughout my spread. So I just like go through each of these as I'm prepping for a spread and then pull out what I think I'm going to want to use with that kit. Um, not that I can't go back into the drawers, but it just makes it a lot easier and keeps my brain like able to focus on that. Okay. So I've got the kit here. I usually like to keep the full boxes where I can see them because that's kind of what I'm trying to match things to. Um, and then I just kind of flip through. So I've got my top drawer out here and I'm just going to kind of look and see if anything jumps out at me as, um, things that will be good for this kit. Um, so a lot of times with branches, like I don't really have a ton that I'm going to want to pull other than maybe like some small pieces, um, you know, for like the floral deco sheet so that I can pull them in with it. But I mean, with branches and stuff, I feel like these are usually more like fall and winter. So I don't anticipate I'm going to pull out a ton of things from this pile. Um, these feel more like fallish to me. These I feel like would be good for decorating with floral and these two, because they're just more leafy. I don't really feel like I need these. It's so funny now, like everything's on transparent mat and these are all like, you know, from these are older in my collection. And so they're all on clear mat and, or clear mat, clear paper. Um, and so it's just weird for me to like feel clear paper now because I feel like it's so not common. Um, these are all wintry. So we're just going to kind of skip through that. These are all like winter. So um, that's it for the branches. Really not much. So I'm just going to set those in a pile up here. And then we're going to look at like florals. I don't have anything where I would need petals. 
These are a maybe, so maybe I'll keep those out. Um, these don't really go with this kit. These, not really. I feel like those have like poppies in them and that's not really. These are cherry blossoms. These look more springy. These are like a meadow. I guess you're getting to see my whole collection if nothing else, right? I just don't feel like a lot of these really go with the theme of what's going on in this kit. So I love these Monk and Marble ones. Don't really go, but I love them and I love these poppies. These are kind of fun, but again, I don't know that they really match this kit. So um, I really think that that's where we're at here. There's not a whole lot matching this kit. So um, as far as florals, and that's okay because I really, there's enough florals. I don't really need much. So I'm just going to keep this one out. And then I'm going to put these guys away and pull out the next drawer. Okay, next drawer, we've got a lot going on there. I'm going to move these guys up top here. Um, so next drawer, I've got like boxes and things that I might want to add in as well as like mandalas. I feel like they kind of go together. So um, we'll kind of scroll through this one. Some of these are like freebies up in the beginning too. So like this has some of the paper trail plans, like Lauren kind of the collab freebies. So I like to kind of see if any of those look like maybe they would fit inside of there. And like, it looks like this one would. So I'm going to pull out this freebie. I like to try to use the freebies before I use like my regular stash. Um, just because I like to like get through the freebies because they don't like always, like there's so many different things on there. They don't like go with one particular pile and it drives me crazy. So, um, I mean, I like freebies, don't get me wrong. And I like that they have a variety it just for my organization reasons. <laughs> it drives me crazy. So I'm going to leave this one out. Um, there's... This fun box here, maybe I'll use that. So I'm just going to keep that out. These are a little bit smaller, but I might. These are very wintry. This, I already have the other one out. Um, as far as like square boxes, sometimes I'm like looking to see if I feel like, like the pattern matches, um, but it doesn't really match there. This is like too fancy looking. These are holiday. These kind of look beachy to me. A little bit like with that scallop so I feel like I'm gonna keep those out because that might work these florals I love these I can't wait till I can use them but they don't really match this kit um this is wintry this doesn't go all right so now we're into like scallops um this might I feel like this could be kind of beachy so let's leave that guy out um let's see this one too maybe these look wintry to me even though I know they're not meant to be this is like not quite. These don't match. These don't match. Mm, I feel like that doesn't really go either. Hopefully this isn't super boring for you guys as I'm like flipping through to see what matches, but I always pull these out because I love those so much. Um, none of these really seem to like be jumping out at me. Now with the Gather Layers collection, I will usually look and see if any of the colors kind of match the kit. I don't feel like these ones do particularly. Neither do these. I feel like these used to be way more periwinkle color and it was literally like that color was peri and now they're like purple. I don't know what happened. Like I don't have these in the sun or anything like that. So I'm not sure. And even the ones that are in a book away from like my drawers look like that too. So like, I don't understand what happened, but um, they just look different now. So these ones are maybe, I feel like this PG color, you could almost pull in. It kind of matches that floral. So let's pull those ones out. But I really think that's like the only one in this collection that matches. These like terracotta color ones kind of match. So we're gonna leave those out. This matches really well. So I'll leave those out. And then these, I will look and see if I have any like arch boxes to see if this would make sense to have out. And we do, but I think this would be too small for that arch box. So um, unless there's any on this sheet, and there's not, um, I'm not gonna need the arches. The circles, um, there are some circles here, so let's pull some circles out. Ovals, I don't really think there's, yeah, there's not really ovals. Rectangles, of course, and squares, of course. Um, these are adorable, but doesn't really fit my vibe for this kit. These are kind of fun, but I don't think I'm really going to use them. Um, these have a couple of like my favorite kind of boxes. So I'm going to, I have the full sheet of these, but I'm just going to pull this out for now. And that is more Christmassy. All right. We're making a good mess here. Okay. So let's see what else we got here. This would be mandalas. 
um, dragonflies. My mom loves dragonflies and this is a beachy kit, but I don't feel like there's any like dragonflies in here. So I'm not going to pull those out. These are kind of fun. I feel like that could maybe be something for this. All right. These are all like the bee stuff. Cause I just got done. Well, I didn't use the bee kit on this, but, um, I just don't feel like those go. I do love some lace, but I don't feel like that is like the vibe of this kit at all. Um, the scallop one possibly because I feel like that scallop is kind of beachy looking. These, I don't know. Do we like this lace circle with that? Maybe, maybe we do. Lace circle three. Okay, I have two of these sheets and I've already started cutting on that one. So we're gonna use that one. Um, I don't feel like any of these really go. Sorry, that foil is like blinding on here. All right, and then we're into the Gathered Layers Tacos. Um, I think we had pulled out, see how purple that is? It did not used to be this purple. Like, I'm not crazy. This very Perry was like this kind of color, and now it's purple. I've never seen a sticker do that before. Let me know in the comments if you've ordered these and if yours did the same thing. Like, am I crazy? And I feel like this is way deeper pink than it used to be, too. I, I don't know. Like, I'm so confused how that would even happen. Okay, this cream color, I feel like that matches really well. I think this is the same one that I pulled out for the other one, so we're going to leave this one out. Um, what else do we have? Yeah, none of those. This blue is, like, too off. Maybe some little tacos. I don't really think I want any of these other mandalas in here. Like, they're all so pretty, but I just... Don't feel like they match the vibe a whole lot. Maybe some of these little baby ones, perhaps. Um, Panda Bird Designs, those are all really pretty too, but I don't feel like those colors are really vibing with this kit. So we're not gonna do those. And then these are winter. Okay, so that is all of the mandalas that I'm gonna pull out for this. Not very many mandalas and circles. And we have the boxes as well. So there's another stack. Okay, next drawer, we have garlands and dangles and then dividers. Um, so let's see what we have that will match in here. There's so much prep work to starting a spread. I don't know if you guys have that much prep time or if I am just a crazy person and do way too much because I'm always doing too much. Um, but drop me a comment, let me know. Does it take you forever to set up for the spread? Like I will sit down to go do a plan with me and then um, I like have to do all of this prep work. And then I'm like, okay, I'm not inspired anymore. <laughs> I need a break because it was too much. Um, so I kind of have to do this in segments. So hence the reason we're doing this one now. So for um, garlands, I do like to pull out the mini swoops because sometimes I like to have those. I'm going to bring those ones out. These florals don't really go. This is kind of simple There's potential for these here. These again are very simple. I feel like there's potential. That's a double potential. Probably won't use the long swoops or these ones because these remind me of like necklaces. And then I think I'm into like all of the, like this is hearts and then stars and leaves and snowflakes. Um, so I'm not going to want any of those. Um, sometimes I like to have these out. These do kind of remind me of like waves a little bit. So I'll bring out those flourishes. And then these are the other flourishes that I have. I typically don't pull these out. I haven't been using flourishes that much. So these I'll keep in the drawer, but um, I know that I have them if I want them. So um, so that's it for the garlands, garlands and flourishes. And then dividers. So this one usually takes me a little bit of thought because I have to look and see kind of like what vibes do I want to bring into the kit? Do I want like more delicate dividers? Do I want thicker? Um, so, and I have a lot of themed ones in here. So um, I'm going to pull out my freebie. This is my old freebie from Dash of Sun. Um, cause I've got some of the plain, simple silver lines on here and I inevitably always pull those into a spread. Um, this is Charissa's freebie. She has a new one now, but I love this one so much. Um, I don't think there's anything in here that I'll pull in. Maybe some butterflies. There's not really any butterflies in this kit, but I might. So I'm going to leave that one out. Um, that's fall. These monkey marble dividers are some of my favorites. Um, we've got these ones with like the twinkle. These are like the dainty sparkly twinkle. And then these ones are just super dainty. Um, so I'm going to pull both of these out cause I love these. Um, with beachy kits, I tend to like a lot of like scallopy stuff cause it reminds me of waves. I feel like these are going to be a little bit too thick for what I want though right now. 
Um, these simple bow ones, I'm going to pull those out because I love those. These are like kind of like a wave, so we'll bring those. These ones too, these are a wave, so I'll have these. These have some anchors, the seashells, more seashells more seashells, more waves. That's a double. I'm not going to pull in any fruit or dash lines or cattails or dandelions or bees. None of that stuff. This is Justine's freebie. There's nothing on there that like feels like this kit. Um, these ones are nice little like lacy ones, but I'm not really feeling that. These don't feel very beachy either. I don't know. That one's a maybe. These are nice and tiny, so that's a possibility. Um, double line divider. I don't feel like pulling those into the spread. I don't know why. They are kind of nautical-y, but I don't really want them in the spread for some reason. Um, and then these guys love lace, but that doesn't really fit. Um, pens, hearts. These are like leaf dividers. I feel like with all the things I have, I'm not going to pull those in because I won't reach for those as much as I'll reach for the other things. These are like wintry. These really skinny monkey marble ones. I love these. So I'm going to bring this and the Dash of Sun. If you can see, they're very different in size. So I like having that variety. So I'm going to bring both of those in. Um, don't really think I'm going to do any of the other ones with these. These are kind of like a wave a little bit though. Maybe I'll hang on to those. These don't really fit the vibe of this kit. I've already got enough simple line ones that I like better than that for this spread. And then these are like holiday-ish. So, right? Oops, I didn't pull the rest of these out. Yeah, these are all like wintry. Okay, so that's going to be it for the dividers. I say that's it. Like I didn't just pull out like 50 pages of dividers, but these are the dividers. Okay, this is the last of what I usually will pull out. When it comes to icons and scripts, I leave those in the drawer until I am adding those things in and then I go through them. So this is the last giant pile we have to go through for what kind of deco I'm gonna bring in. So um, I can already eliminate a good chunk of these in the beginning because these are all like fun Halloween things that I got in. Um, and that is definitely not what I'm planning right now. So we're gonna pull, okay, so let's just put these to the side here. All right, so this one does say June and July, but I'm in August. I don't really think I'm going to use any of these sun ones. This um, Paper Moose Crafts freebie has some beachy things, so we'll leave that. Same with this freebie. Um, these are beachy, so I'm basically going to pull out anything beachy or nautical that I may use. Oh, look, my dangle decos in here. I've been trying to put the dangle deco with the flourishes, but I guess I didn't in this one. There's some tiny dragonflies. I am going to pull those in. Um, we didn't really celebrate anything there, so I'm not going to do that. Um, let's see. I always like with the celebration stuff, if I'm like, oh yeah, I should have grabbed that, then I will just go back in and get it. Um, these little like teeny tiny sparkle clusters, I love these. Um, I'm only going to need one sheet, so I'm going to leave this one in there. And then these are like all of the like dot deco. So those are good. Um, mini dangles, these long dangles. Don't really know if I'll need any hearts. I might because we had a lot of time with baby, so I might want some hearts. Um, tiny sparkles, probably not. I already pulled some of these out. Um, I do like to pull out some bows just in case I want to add a bow to something. So I'll pull those out. Um, these are like way too ornate. Here's some little hearts. I might want some of those. But like hearts are not, you know, I'm not really trying to pull in hearts. I'm not trying to pull in fruit. So we can skip through. There are some butterflies. Those are maybe, those are more springy. Um, I don't feel like any of these really go. Again, that's more spring. I feel like this is like my spring stuff here. Like Eastery, July 4th. See, I tried to go in order. Oh, bats. I should probably put all of this stuff in with that. There we go. And then like some leaves and fall. And then we're into, oh, I can't even hold this pile. Holy crap. Um, and then we're into like winter. So that is going to be our deco pile for this spread. So there's a ton of nautical in here. So that's good. Okay. So I have taken you off of my holder again. Um, so I'm just showing you up here, kind of where I keep everything. 
Um, this is just like where I put each of the piles as I've gone through. Um, that way, as I am filming, you know, right here, I usually have my, um, my light thing here. Um, I can just go ahead and reach up and grab whatever I need from up here. Sorry if you hear my dogs barking. They have to act like the dog from Sandlot every time they go outside. So, um, but yeah, this is my kind of setup while I am planning. Okay. Lastly, I will usually go through, I have some things in like my smaller books. So I'll usually go through these and see if there's anything in here that I need. Um, so I don't have any other florals in here that really match this or any like paint swatches that match. So I am going to not pull anything from that book. Um, this little book is my Gathered, Co um, Gathered Layers collection, and I feel like this crepe colorway could match. So I am going to pull out some of those um, for like the boxes. One of these days I will put all of these together, but for right now they're not. So we kind of have some in this and some in my drawers because it started here and my collection got too big. So I think crepe was the only color that I really thought matched. Um, so I'm just going to pull those out and add those to like my boxes pile, boxes and mandalas. Um, these are my Sadie stickers. Um, like these were a $2 Tuesday. I don't think any of these will really match color wise. These ones potentially, yeah, this one potentially. So I do like to see which ones I pulled in like the foiled ones that match these just so that I have them matching. Um, so I pulled in these two, so these mini circle five and mini circle one. So these are five and um, these are one. So I'll pull out those ones with like that pale color that will match. Um, I don't really think I'll use any of these. So I'm just not going to pull those out and the rest of these colors don't really go with anything. So that's fine. We're just going to pull those out. And then, um, as far as like, this is like my date, um, there's a little bit of washi in there, but these are like date dots. Um, I probably will pull these out when I get closer and I figure out what I'm doing because I may decide to do something different with my date cover deco. And so I might not need like little dots. I might be using, um, some more like different ones. I don't know, like the Sadie stickers ones that were like in a full line or something like that. And then I do have, um, all of my Shantae plans and Sadie stickers collab, um, all of the frames. So I feel like these pink ones actually match pretty well. So I am going to pull out the pink frames. Um, I don't think there's anything else that really jumps out at me as matching the cream. Not quite. Um, so I'm going to pull out these ones. And then I do have the sign in pink as well. I also have a sign in gray, but it kind of almost looks beige. So I feel like, no, it's still a little bit off. It's like a little bit too beigey. Um, yeah, and then there's like wood, but I don't feel like that matches the vibe. This is just where I house all my, all my freebies. Like I keep one of each of my freebies um, in each foil color because I don't know, I'm crazy like that. So that's what I do. I'm going to pull in, I only need the silver book. So these are where I keep like my long washies, my long skinny washies. So I'm just going to look through these and see if any of these are something that I might want to bring in. Um, not quite sure yet because I'm not sure what vibes I'm going with, but like these look like waves. So I'm going to leave them in here until I'm ready to pull them out, but I will have the book up here. Um, these anchor ones may be a good one as well. I love these ones from Miss and Meow. Um, yeah, there's some more anchor ones. And then we're kind of into florals, so those aren't really going to go. But at least it's like kind of in my brain of what I have. So I've got some nautical and then I do have, see these are date covers. I may decide to use some of these. Um, so I'm going to leave this little book out so that I can just easily access it and decide if I want to do like something that looks like waves or if I want to do anchors or how I want to do that for adding in any kind of like long washi strips. And then I also have this pile. <laughs> I need to get organized, you guys. I have this pile of like some of my transparent ones, some of my mini moons from Monk and Marple, and then some other boxes. So I'm going to go through this pile real quick as well and see if anything matches. Um, these blues could come in handy. So I am going to pull out the blues. Um, I don't feel like the greens match so well. Um, possibly though, like these like beigey ones. And maybe even that pink. That pink kind of goes with some of that, right? 
Um, and then I have the paper trail plans, but this pink's a little bit too pinky. So I will not pull that out. So these are like my transparent, um, like layering swatches. And then these mini moons, let's see if anything really jumps out at me. These look like sand to me. So I am going to use some of these for sand. Um, I actually kind of like this pop of yellow. I'm not sure it totally matches. So I think that might be all I pull in is just the sand colored ones for these. So I will keep these out as well. And then um, these are all of like the boxes that I have for my newest addiction that I love. So I'm gonna pull out my silver ones of these in case I wanna add any of these in. These will be part of my pile. And then I do have some Giving Girl, both strong boxes. I don't think this gray matches. Um, this pink is a little bit too pink. These are gold silver but purple so yeah none of those really match so it's just going to be these my newest addiction and the moons and then these transparent ones from this stack all right so that is a little behind the scenes of my thought process how I prepare for a plan with me whether I'm recording it or not that's basically the same process that I go through kind of going through each of my drawers figuring out what matches and then pulling them so I have piles and it's just ready for me to grab and go um, let me know in the comments below if you guys enjoyed um, watching some of my thought process and behind the scenes. Um, let me know how you do your kit preparation. Um, do you, you know, do you have binders? If you have drawers, um, let me know, you know, what that looks like. Do you pull them all out ahead of time? Do you wait until you're going through your day by day? Um, what does your process look like? I'm intrigued to know what other people do to get prepared. Um, but again, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for joining me for another video. And um, if you're not subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you subscribed and give this video a thumbs up. Um, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.